Some celebrities have indeed stepped away from the spotlight to pursue other endeavors, but they were once a part of it too. They shelved their acting ambitions in favor of normal careers more accessible to the general public. The new lives they have to adapt to are not as glitzy as the ones they had to abandon behind. But they do have their advantages. One major benefit is that they are free from the pressures of working in Hollywood. Let's take a look at some famous people who, for whatever reason, went and got regular employment. Watch this video if you're curious about the celebrities' new careers. Tiffany During the 1980s, Tiffany rose to fame thanks to her single, I Think We're Alone Now. She also performed a fantastic job covering the Beatles. I saw her standing there. There are reports that this single topped the Billboard charts. Apple advertised it at one time. While she still occasionally performs, her main concentration is on her clothing line and retail business. It's fantastic that she does a lot of festival and coffee shop appearances, marketing her products by leveraging her reputation. Gina Davis This model turned actress made her debut in the film Tootsie in 1982. Other films in which she has appeared include The Fly, Beetlejuice, and The Gina Davis Show. Her acting career, sadly, began to fail in the 1990s. Possibly, this is why she went out on her own and ran her own company. She is the director of the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media, which promotes the representation of women in the media. She leveraged her professional relationships in 2018 to get financial support for the release of the documentary, This Changes Everything. Charlie Cosmo. Charlie Cosmo's first major role was in What About Bob, back when he was a kid actor. In the years that followed, he kept up his actions while also delving into academics. Can Hardly Wait, 1998, is the most recent picture on which he has received credit. He graduated from MIT with a Bachelor of Science in Physics in the year 2000. His legal degree from Yale University finally arrived six years later. He entered politics and the Environmental Protection Agency after that. He currently instructs business organizations and corporate finance at Case Western Reserve University. Steven Siegel The actor Steven Siegel holds three citizenships, American, Serbian, and Russian. He has largely left acting behind and is now a deputy sheriff. Right now, he's working as a promotional spokesperson for a Russian weapons manufacturer called Orsis. He previously stated that he was collaborating on a long gun that would bear his name with the company. Angus T. Jones This actor rose to fame because of his role in the hit TV show Two and a Half Men. Starring in the film Sympatico at the tender age of five, he launched his acting career. Since then, you may have seen him in films such as Bringing Down the House, The Christmas Blessing, George of the Jungle 2, The Rookie, and Sea Spot Run. After announcing his retirement to the public, he moved into the private sector. He currently serves as an employee of the media organization tonight. Macaulay Kalkin. You've seen him in the Home Alone movies, so you undoubtedly recognize him. Moreover, we were impressed by him in the 1991 film My Girl. He ranks among the best kid actors of all time. However, he is currently occupied running the Bunny Ears website, a satirical venue that generates the content and engages in cross-promotions. Eric Estrada When you think about it, it's only appropriate that Eric Estrada, formerly of Chips, is now serving as a reserve police officer. In the NBC police drama, he is best known for playing the role of Officer Frank Ponch Poncherolo. From 1977 to 1983, he was the show's star. He moved on to do other things including reality programs, infomercials, and Spanish drama series after this. His current job as a deputy sheriff in Virginia began in 2009. When he finally got married and settled down in Idaho seven years later, he joined the police reserve. How great is it that he, like his character, rides a motorcycle to work? Cameron Diaz Everyone, 
without a shadow of a doubt, is familiar with Cameron Diaz. She is a great actress who has acted in hit films including Charlie's Angels, there's something about Mary and My Sister's Keeper. Since the two are such good friends, it's no surprise that she made an appearance on the Drew Barrymore show at the start of 2020. Besides leaving the big screen, what other things have Diaz been up to? She has become a successful writer and spends the majority of her time caring for her adorable baby, Maddox Men. Jeffrey Owens Jeffrey Owens has appeared on several television shows, including That's So Raven, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and Lucifer, but is best recognized for his role as Mr. Cosby on The Cosby Show. He became famous in 2018 when he was seen working as a cashier at Trader Joe's. When he was subjected to job shaming, his devoted following rallied to his defense. Due to the attention he received, he was cast in other films. Moreover, he established and serves as the artistic director of the Brooklyn Shakespeare Company. Phoebe Cates Phoebe Cates was a film star of the 80s. Movies like Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Gremlins can be found on this list. She said she was solely in the business for the money and subsequently admitted she did not enjoy acting or the industry. As a clothing store owner, we can only pray that she is finally content. Her shop, Blue Tree, can be found on Madison Avenue in New York City. Taryn Noah Smith To most people, Taryn Noah Smith will always be known as Mark from the hit 1990s sitcom Home Improvement. Among the most watched television series of the 2000s, after the series concluded, Smith announced that he would no longer be acting since he didn't want to. He then established Playford a company that produces fake cheese. In addition, he launched a dining establishment with the same moniker. The actor now works as the team's technical manager for the community submersibles. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. You may not have known this, but Jonathan Taylor Thomas provided his voice for both The Lion King and Pinocchio. However, the home improvement fandom knows him better than Randy. He left Hollywood in 2006, only to come back between 2013 and 2016. After his acting career ended, he decided to return to school. In 2000, he graduated from a prep school and went on to attend Harvard, where he took advantage of the university's study abroad program in Scotland. He went to Columbia University and graduated with a general studies degree. He has been a busy man lately with his directing career. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen After achieving success in Full House, the Olsen twins decided to launch their own production company, Dual Star Entertainment. The twins' film career began with this production business, where they starred in movies like Passport to Paris and Winning London, as well as more recent hits like Holiday in the Sun and Getting There. The identical twins retired and then started the high-end clothing firm The Row. Peter Ostrom only one major film can be credited to this actor's name. In the 1971 film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, he played Charlie. Though he was just 12 years old at the time, he declined an invitation to reprise his role in a sequel. Instead of pursuing a career in the theater, he settled on a career in animal welfare. He attended Cornell University and is now a veterinarian in Lowville, New York. Jack Gleason as with Peter Ostrom, Jack Gleason has only one major part to his name. The role of King Joffrey in Game of Thrones made this actor renowned. After the death of his character, he left Hollywood to concentrate on his education. He enrolled in Dublin's Trinity College. While still in school, he started the theater group he runs now, Collapsing Horse. He was a part of a company named Dew Players, along with the other owners. Vanilla Ice Every time you hear Vanilla Ice's Ice, Ice Baby, we're positive that you'll want to join in on the chorus. Being the first hip-hop song ever to top the Billboard charts, it changed the course of music forever. Additionally, this was the first time the genre was exposed to a wide public. We heard the rapper is also a Jet Ski racer. 
he is now more dedicated to his professional athletic career than ever before, despite his continued appearances in television retrospectives. Rick Moranis In the 80s, this performer rose to fame as a result of his role on Second City Television. In addition, he has starred in films such as Little Shop of Horrors, Ghostbusters, and Parenthood. He used to act, but these days he stays home with his kids. No one knows whether or when he will make his way back to Hollywood. Karen Parsons This comedian and actress is widely recognized for her role as Hilary Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She co-starred with Damon Wayans in 1995's Major Pain. She has now found success in her chosen profession as a writer. She could have been in The Ladies' Man. Now she's a full-time author instead. Sweet Blackberry, the animated series about remarkable black people who have gone unrecognized, is one of her works in progress. She also released the middle-grade novel, How High the Moon. Jerry Mathers. Wow, it's hard to imagine he started his profession at such a young age, too, to be exact. But Jerry Mathers realized that it wasn't in that field that he could truly thrive. He told the producers of Beaver Cleaver that he did not want to appear on the show when he auditioned for the role. Despite this, they made an exception and hired him on the spot. He quit the business in 1978. He still attends conferences despite having a day job as a corporate loan officer. Jay North Although Dennis the Menace is more commonly associated with the animated series, a live-action movie starring the character was released in the 1960s. Jay North has already performed on a few productions before landing the starring part. Like the other kids on this list, he grew tired of Hollywood and moved on. After the show ended, he kept performing until his opportunities disappeared. Following his time in the Navy, he attempted to come back to the acting world where he met with only moderate success. Because of his work in Florida's juvenile justice system, his name is on a list. Shaquille O'Neal, or Shaq, is one of the best NBA players of all time. He was a huge supporter of the law, even though he was still a basketball player. A graduate of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Reserve Academy, he now serves as a reserve officer for the LA Port Police. The former NBA star is now a reserve officer for the Miami Beach Police Department, as well as an honorary deputy marshal. He has since become a reserve officer for Georgia's Clayton County Sheriff's Office. Adam Lambert Lambert became a teen idol for his portrayal of Gordo on the Lizzie McGuire series, and he was set to reprise the part in a remake of the show before it was canceled. Lionel in For When Do We Eat? and Reggie in Beautiful Loser were his first roles after Disney. After these parts, he decided to try his hand at writing instead. Bill Murray In recent years, Murray's distance from the Hollywood scene has grown significantly. The actor became well-known due to his roles in the successful comedy Caddyshack and Ghostbusters. Since he's retired, he's focused on more fun activities like baseball and restaurant ownership, Caddyshack, which Murray and his brothers own, has two locations. He is also an investor in the Saints, a major league baseball franchise based in Minnesota's capital city. Who is the celebrity you missed the most and wish to go back in the spotlight? Comment your answers in the comment section and let us know what you guys think about your favorite celebrity's new career in the list. Thanks for watching this video. Please give us a like if you had fun watching. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you in our next video.